Someone on the pistol forum suggested that uh, the pro lifter alteration to the 1301 tactical could cause uh, issues with either port loading or doing a select slug change through the ejection port. So I thought I'd look into that since I do have, and you can tell because it's held in the up position uh, with, with an empty magazine here, just for illustration. This is the whole concept behind this lifter. It's got a little bit more girth here to, uh, to hold that uh, lifter in the, in the uh, up for last, lack of a better word. I don't know what it's called exactly, but uh, the up position. So let's start with a uh, last shot bolt hold open situation. <clears throat> and you'll see that the, uh, the bolt is held back uh, using that last uh, round bolt hold open feature. And then believe it or not though, the lifter is, uh, is in the down position and that's exactly the way a standard lifter, not the, um, uh, the pro lifter, uh, would be also in this situation. So um, there's no difference really in loading into uh, the empty chamber uh, with either system. And then of course, but once you do load, then the lifter holds itself up. Uh, and is ready to be, uh, by the way, that was a dummy round that I put in there also, and it's ready uh, to have the next um, next round either loaded or, or fired from, from the situation we have uh, with a round in the chamber. So uh, no difference there. So uh, let's talk about a situation with a select slug loaded in there, uh, which, which does pose a bit of a different situation. So now this dummy shell is going to represent a slug and I've decided to engage uh, with the 50 yard target and uh, so I'm going to pull it out of wherever I have my slugs or you know who, who cares where it comes from and I'm going to uh, do a select slug load a, um, a way uh, that I've seen it done by other people and it requires two hands so let's go through that so it would basically be to eject the first round. You hold back the uh, the bolt with one hand, <laughs> so easy, and then you, you slip your slug in there and then let it fly home. Now you're ready with a slug and everything's back to, you know, the normal situation. Even though that lifter is higher, you know, it's, Okay, even though the lifter, you can see it right there, is higher, you can still get it in there, I think, with no trouble. You just place it in there like normal. And it's held up, yes, but I don't think the lifter's in the way, personally. Now you can let it go. So I don't think there's any downside to having the pro lifter. Once again, holding it back. If you had it even on a, um, a match saver, you just still slip it in. And off you go. So a second select slug reload option that I find easier because it's a one-handed uh, situation. And again, assuming there is a chambered um, buckshot round, again, in this case, it is indeed a dummy round. I don't have any live ammo nearby. So, um, and uh, there's, there's other buckshot rounds assuming inside the, uh, inside the magazine. Uh, so what we're going to do in this situation is leaving the buckshot round in there. We're going to load the slug through the waiting magazine that has room for another slug. Uh, you know, perhaps a, a reason to only have six in the chamber at any time. Um, anyway, so we can put that in there and, uh, and, and then we're going to get ready for it by releasing the lifter and allowing that slug to go on top of the lifter, which it has done. So to chamber that uh, slug, all we have to do is pull back on the handle, which ejects the buckshot round. There's the slug waiting on the lifter, and now you have a slug in the chamber. And to me, that's easier 
uh, because number one, it's one-handed. Uh, number two, it, uh, it allows you to um, load the slug in through the loading port instead of the, the um, ejection port, which to me is, is roomier and easier and um, in most cases if you're pulling the slug out from a uh, for example, a side saddle situation, which I don't have on, but, you know, you could imagine that. So uh, there you have it.